and welcome to another video with me, Andrea. I am sitting and enjoying a green smoothie with spinach and mango and pumpkin seeds and hemp protein and it's full of uh, super goodness protein and iron and, and calcium and vitamin C. So this is going straight to my belly, straight to the growing bump I've got going on here. So I wanted to do a video today about some activities that um, a lot of kids partake in when they're younger and um, that would be considered not vegan and why I am comfortable, um, you know, not allowing or teaching my children not to partake in those activities. So um, some examples. Uh, pony rides. You'll see them at a lot of fairs, um, a lot of um, like kids' birthday parties. They might bring in uh, some uh, ponies for kids to ride. Um, so that would be an example of something that I would not allow my child or I would teach them not to want to partake in. Um, the reason being that horses are not ours to be ridden. And um, those horses, you know, are made to travel long distances in um, carriers and, and uh, trailers. And then they're made to walk on ground that isn't good for their ankles, like concrete. And, you know, they're around stressful situations like kids yelling and screaming. Ah! And it's not healthy for the horse and it's not it's not what the horse deserves the, or the pony. So um, that's an example of something that I would not want my child to partake in. Um, the other thing would be like, uh, you know, if uh, someone had a birthday party where someone brought in a whole bunch of animals to pet, like reptiles. Um, it's one thing to bring your kids to a sanctuary. It's another thing for someone who buys a whole bunch of animals just so they can make money off of bringing them to kids' birthday parties to be manhandled. Um, and I just don't agree with that premise. Um, and so if someone were to say, oh, we're having a, a party where someone's bringing a whole bunch of iguanas for the kids to meet and touch, I would say, no, that's not fair to the iguana. You know, this iguana wants to stay at home and be in their environment, and uh, that's not what we support. Uh, zoos. So a lot of people think that zoos are great for animals and, um, and, and you know, that they help with animal conservation and education and all this stuff. Zoos are not healthy for animals. They are put in habitats that are entirely unnatural to them. They are usually fed diets that are entirely unnatural to them. They are put in the same thing, stressful situation with kids screaming and beating on the glass of their uh, enclosures. And it's essentially like an animal prison. Um, so if there were ever a school trip or a whole bunch of my friends were saying, oh, we're taking the kids to the zoo this weekend, my kids and I would not partake in this. Um, now, that's why I love animal sanctuaries that rescue animals, um, animals that are um, in their proper habitat and environment, so not some like wildcat sanctuary in the middle of Ontario. Those cats and, and animals don't belong here. Um, but, you know, if there was a sanctuary that rescued uh, horses and cows and pigs and um, deer or sheep, then yes, we would go to a sanctuary and they could meet the animals. Um, uh, the same thing would be like if we were on a vacation and the hotel offered dolph swimming with dolphins and so they had all these dolphins in enclosures and you can hold on to their fins and, and pet them and all that stuff. No, but if we were out on a boat ride and some dolphins pulled up next to the boat, then yeah, we can observe the dolphins in their natural habitat. Um, another thing that we have in Canada is called medieval times, which is when um, uh, it's like 
medieval times and you go to this huge place and you pretend that you're part of the king's court and all these knights are jousting and riding horses and fighting with, uh, doing play fights with fake swords or real swords, I don't know. Um, they, the horses that they use um, in that situation are, are not, are being put in a situation that is unnatural to the horse where they are, you know, um, being used for human entertainment. So that isn't something that I support or I want my children to support. Now, you know, a lot of people hear this and they're going, God, your child is going to miss out on so much. And I'm sorry, that's just ridiculous. Being a kid isn't about a handful of these random experiences which involve exploiting another living being. Being a kid is about being a kid. You know, they're still going to get to roll around in dirt. They're still going to get to, you know, paint with, you know, paint and pictures and and play, play make believe and, um, you know, and I just don't think that what defines a child's life is whether or not they get to go to a zoo or ride on a horse or um, any of the above. Um, and so, uh, you know, to me, it's a no-brainer. I want to teach my kid that if they wouldn't do it to another human being and they wouldn't, you know, wouldn't want another human being in that situation, then they probably shouldn't do it to a, an animal. And, um, you know, I, I just think that's just common sense. You know, we should treat animals as individuals, as, as, as someones, not some things. And, um, and the, the, the last one would be um, movies where animal actors are used. So I used to love the movie Ace Ventura because I love animals. And then when I grew up, I was like, wow, those animals are being used. They're being exploited and trained and put in unnatural situations. It's not fair to the animals. These animals deserve to be free. They shouldn't be ours to use for some blockbuster film, you know. And so it's about teaching our kid um, about how animals deserve freedom and deserve to be treated with respect. And uh, it's really important to me, as you guys all know, and I just want my child to grow up just like I wouldn't want my child to, to grow up treating one sex different, different than the other, male or female, or treating, um, sorry, gender, or treating, um, you know, one race different than the other, black, white, Hispanic, Asian. You know, I want them to be the same with animals. If they, if they think it's unfair that a dog would be ridden or a cat would be ridden or a cow would be ridden, then why would we ride a horse? It's just a social construct that we've created. Oh, that horses like to be ridden and this, makes, this is good for the horse. This is exercise for the horse. It's just not true. Um, so uh, that, those are some activities that I wanted to mention. And then there are the obvious ones. Um, that you can navigate around. So let's say um, my kid was going to a birthday party with pizza and, and um, cake and ice cream. I would make their own individual pizza and I would um, ask that they have a lactose-free or milk-free um, thing. You know, it, we're in an age where um, kids have so many allergies. So many kids are lactose intolerant. And, you know, so if, if the parent can't accommodate, then you're just going to have to learn how to make those, make those accommodations for them. And, um, you know, if, if there's a person that's not willing to um, be respectful of this lifestyle, then, you know, that's their choice. And you just have to help your kid understand, do you want to be friends with someone who only likes you if you're mean to animals? No, that's ridiculous. Like, I have had none of my close friendships impacted by my veganism. Um, they know that I'm a passionate, passionate animal activist. I'm going to speak my mind. But if we have something much deeper than that, that it's not going to impact it. So, you know, for instance, my friend uh, burnt herself recently uh, because she was cooking dead pig corpse, um, her, her what she calls bacon. And I said... You know what? You deserved it. You were 
you were eating the corpse of another of a dead innocent being and you got bit back so if anything you deserved worse but this is what you get right and she just was like I knew you were going to say that because she knows that this is very important to me so close friendships you hurt your kids you know they might have some people who say I don't want to be friends with you you know I want I want to be able to not feel guilty about eating animals or whatever but as they grow up you know they're going to learn that that real friendship isn't about agreeing on everything it's about navigating those differences of opinions and and those differences and um and being okay with it so that's those are some examples of things that my kids might um miss out on but uh that i'm a-okay with that being the case thanks guys and uh have a nice day